Well, good afternoon everyone. This is Ickledot reporting from a very far distant place from the one I videoed at yesterday. Um, if you recall, that was in Keithley, the home of Keithley Rugby Club. And they were playing in the Yorkshire Shield semi-final against Bradford and Bingley. And um, Bradford and Bingley won the game. Uh, at one point it seemed like they were going to win it quite convincingly. But actually it ended up being very close. I think the final score was something like 20-16. to 16. Um, Keithley scored a try well into the second half, which gave them hope of possibly snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, as they say. But they weren't quite up to it. It didn't quite happen. And Bradford and Binley now go on to the Yorkshire Shield final. Not sure yet who they are playing. But um, I don't think people in Yorkshire will guess where this is. It's deep in the heart of the countryside. And uh, we're at the home of Wellingborough Rugby Club. And we're here to see Yorkshire's women's team playing against East Midlands. Now for Ickledot it feels a bit far south for any description of Midlands, but apparently it is. Um, Wellingborough, I've never been to Wellingborough before, but it's kind of on a, on a level with Northampton, I think, and Kettering. Those were some of the road signs that I saw on the way down. Um, so that's where we are today hopefully for a good game of rugby and uh, hopefully as always being a Yorkshireman um, a Yorkshire win for the women um, this is their second game and to be honest not really quite sure how they got on in their first game which was at home at um, Bradford funnily enough at Bradford and Bingley um, but Ickledot couldn't get there because at the time, if you recall, he was in Doncaster with the Knights against Yorkshire Carnegie. So um, I'll end this video now and I'll try and check how Yorkshire did last week. Uh, they seem in very buoyant mood on the way down this morning. And uh, as you can see, both sides are just doing their final preparations and uh, Ickledot has managed to find out quite a way in advance which way the teams are playing. So at the moment, sitting behind the uh, try line that Yorkshire are going to be attacking in the first half. Um, photographs yesterday, as um, I've mentioned on the previous video, back to using the 70 to 200 um, Canon f2.8, great lens, bought second hand, still quite expensive, but it does the business. And I would say for the type of photographer, if I am a photographer, the type of uh, photographs that I take, then the 70 to 200 is ample. Um, it's a bit frustrating when players go over the halfway line. But really, it's not worth photographing them anymore because they're so far into the distance. But for anything that's in the nearer half of the field, which is the interesting bit for the team that I happen to be photographing, uh, it's possible to get a reasonably good shot. And the vast majority of Ickle Dot's shots are not going to be printed. They're going to appear on the internet and really the resolution is not that important only important for the ones that are going to be printed and those the ones that are going to be printed are liable to be the ones that happen near the try line so they're not going to be heavily cropped anyway so um, if there's any advice really uh, it might be that that unless you're really really serious and by the way, really, really well off. It's not worth 
getting 300, 400, 600 millimeter lenses. Another point about them is they are very heavy to carry. Still, did quite enjoy having that um, 400 millimeter lens for the loan of. Gave me an opportunity to really feel what it was like. So uh, I'm going to sign off now because the game isn't too far off starting. The East Midlands team here just having its final instructions and uh, shouldn't be too long before the game's underway. So I'll sign off.